Hello all, welcome back to Tech Capture. So as we discussed in our last video where we started with the data flow. So today we are going to create one a data flow job where the cloud storage file will be loaded into the BigQuery table using the data flow template. So here this is a data flow UI when you open a data flow will land on this page. So this is a web overview page here. So I'll go and job. So here it will show all the jobs. I'll just keep running only to show me. And here there are multiple inbuilt template for batch processing, steam processing, and utilities inbuilt template. So here you could see there are multiple stream template where we can load a CDC change data capture streams to BigQuery from Spanner. Then we can load a change streams to cloud storage and multiple streaming template. But in this video, we are going to start with a batch template where we'll be using one template that text file on cloud storage to BigQuery. So we'll be using this template where I'll show you one file here. So I have one CSV file here which contains the ID name, a city, state, country, birth date, password and last login. These columns in the CSV file. But out of these files, I want to load only few columns from this file to the BigQuery table using the data flow job or data flow template so we'll see how we can do that so first of all I'll open this job I'll give the name as a BQ load demo I'll choose the region or regional endpoint US central one template I already selected now here we need three things here one one a UDF function file that is JavaScript file, one JSON file, and our data source file where we'll have a source data like CSV file which I just shown you. So I'll explain you the significance of all the files here. So this JavaScript UDF path in cloud storage here we have to give the path of the JavaScript file. So here we'll just define the mapping that which column of the file should go to the which column of the database so there we'll define a javascript function then in json file we'll define a bigquery schema so if i reload this and show you i just enter something that's why it's not showing here i'll just open a fresh ui and we'll show you it give us a guidelines there what we should put in each field so the name i'll give here as a big Q bq load from demo and i'll go down and i'll select text on cloud storage to bigquery okay yeah so now you can read here the cloud storage path pattern for javascript code containing user defined function okay udf is a user defined function here json file that defines your bigquery schema Okay, so we need one JavaScript file with user defined function. We need a BigQuery schema. Okay, schema is nothing but we have to mention the data type and column name in that JSON file. And then we have to mention BigQuery output table. So first we have to create a data set in BigQuery and table it can create at runtime. So first what I will do, I will just go to BigQuery and I will create one table, uh, not a table, data set. Okay, so here I have multiple data sets. So I'll just click here and create one data set. Data flow, I'll just give the name as a data flow. Create data set. So if I'm not choosing any location, it will take a default US location for data set. Okay, this is the data flow uh, data set I have created. Now I already have code for this uh, UDF function. I'll just show you here. So this is my UDF user defined function here. So let me just, yeah. So here, this is transform function. What it is doing here. So it is just taking the line by line input from the CSV file. It is taking as this is a comma separated file. It is splitting using this comma and then Okay, so this is your BigQuery object name. So object dot name, and it is giving a value zero. It means the first object from the CSV file. So here you could see the first object, but now we have ID here. So I'll put 
we want only name so one city we have now zero one two so i'll only put two here i don't want id age so age column we don't have so i'll put country and country will be four so you have to count from zero so this is zero column this is first second third and fourth so i want to load these columns only i'll share the code in the description okay so i'll just save this file and let me show you the schema file for bigquery so this is a schema for bigquery so i have given the column name so this name is nothing but name of the column and this is name of your bigquery table so this is your first column this is your second column and this will be your third so i'll mention here as a country okay because i changed it so i updated it so this will be my json file so i saved it as a bq.json this i saved as a udf.js now i'll upload these two files and this csv file to the storage bucket first so i'll go to the storage bucket i'll create no bu new bucket for our demo so bucket name should be unique globally so let me check if i can give bucket name something called bkt dff demo dot zero zero okay so i am giving this bucket name okay it accepted and let me create this bucket okay here i'll upload the files so i have this bq.json udf.js and data.csv i'll upload these three files here so let me just validate the data.csv file here this is the same file fine okay now let me go to configuration now we have all the details which are required here so first i will give the path of the udf javascript file so i will go here i will open this udf.js and i will copy this gs path so this is internal storage bucket path i will copy starting with gs okay then i have to give the json path so this gs already given here just remember so i have to remove this and i'll just give json name as a bq dot json okay so you do function name so here this is something you have to remember you have to give the function name we have in our file so this is our function name transform so i'll give this bigquery output table so we have to give the output table name in the form mentioned here so it should be project name first then colon then data set so data set i have created data flow and table name i want as a bq load okay so this will be my project then colon then data set dot table name so we don't need to create table before it can create runtime as well okay based on the column names we mentioned in the schema file now input path of our uh, files uh, which will be our data file okay so i'll just take the url from here so this will be our data and here you can choose any temporary path so i'll create the table or i'll just take the same bucket as a temporary path temporary location you just copy this and you can just add append as a temp here i'll just do a temp bq 
because you could, could see it's temporary directory for BigQuery and this is temporary directory for files so I just given temp and tempbq now we have given all the details I will execute the job and we'll see if it fails for some reason or it will execute successfully so let me go back to the BigQuery meanwhile I'll show you there is no table as of now because it will create once we start our execution okay so currently in data flow data set nothing is there so let me click on run job now and it will take two to three minutes for your job to kick off and complete so for kick off your job or start your job it will take uh, like 30 seconds to one minute here you could see right side status is starting now it came to running and we'll monitor here I'll show you the progress and we can see the logs here now you could see currently zero CPU is here it will create at runtime once our job started it will create workers nodes and it will execute the jobs so I just open this screen so you can see the changes in the screen now you could see this CPU is one now this parameter change so node is created for our job to execute now it will execute a job so this is something all the process going at the background so you don't need to worry about that as it is serverless for us we only create a pipeline and it will take care of execution at the back end even it will scale based on your jobs complexity I could see everything is running so here zero of one stage succeeded if I click on this it will show multiple threads inside that or multiple task so I just keep doing it so it has only one of one stage here it is having 14 stage so if I click on it so there you could see the different stage so read from source now it is loading batch loads running I just expanded that and this will be your complete graph so we don't need to actually go into that until and unless there is failure but it will just help you to troubleshoot at what stage it failed whenever you are having issue with your data flow so now you could see everything is green so once all stages are completed you can verify your data in the BigQuery table so let me reload okay now you could see everything is completed everything is a green so this will also update within few seconds so I will go to BigQuery and I will validate if table is created and data is loaded and I need only three column I guess which column is yeah we need only these three columns name city and country in our BigQuery table so this job status you could see it's succeeded now I'll go to BigQuery now here you could see there is no table so it will show you once you reload it I'll reload it yeah now you could see it's created a BQ load and let me see the preview of this table if it is having data yeah you could see it is having data but yeah it uh, wrongly took this email column just because we missed a uh, numbering here so just see this is zero this is one okay I think I didn't save the file let me check yeah so here it was a email but yeah that is not an issue 
so main concern is it's loaded according to three columns whichever we given as per the number so if i had to save this what three columns it took so one two and four so it took this one then two and for these three columns it loaded because i forgot to save the files there else it loaded all the three columns so we can use a multiple statement in the function to ignore a first column name or to apply more transformation that can be done and complexity can be increased but just to show you a template demo i have taken a very simple example here where we can load the simple csv file from storage bucket to the bigquery so we'll see one more demo in next video where we'll do extraction of the data from cloud spanner to the google cloud storage bucket so we'll see you in the next video